The last common factor affecting the market demand curve that we need to cover is the price of related goods, or PG. Related goods can either be substitutes, a good that can be used in the place of another good to satisfy a certain want, or complements, which are used with another product to help satisfy a want. Let's try to identify a couple of examples. Substitutes. I don't mind fried chicken pieces or chicken burgers. Tea or coffee? Mutton or beef? I'll drink Coke or Fanta. McDonald's or Nando's? What would happen if the price of one substitute goes up while the other stays the same? Well, it's pretty obvious. If chicken burgers went on a half-price sale, you'd probably switch and eat more burgers and fewer pieces of fried chicken. So, very simply, that's an introduction to substitute goods. But what are complements or goods that complement each other? I drink vodka with lime. Peanut butter and jam. Mm. I use my cell phone with airtime. Fish with chips. Petrol in a car. A CD player with CDs. And what would happen to the demand for milk if the price of coffee went up? If the price of coffee increases, I'll drink less coffee. Therefore, I'll use less milk. So the price of coffee affects how much milk is used? 